Alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man D Real coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where edutainment is what I do. Uh, I have not stopped edutaining. I will continue to edutain as long as edutainment is required, which <laughs> hopefully will be forever or for as long as I can keep doing it. Um, because it's needed and truth and clarity never get old. Now, before we get off into what we're going to get off into today, I urge y'all, as I always do, to do what you always do for me. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to the Be Real with D-Real page so that when new material comes out, you get first crack at it. If you dig it. What a brother shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket, comment, like, subscribe, and share. A lot of people are feeling a lot of different ways about that Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer. Um, I don't want too much beat a dead horse, but um, some people say that it is a tribute to Chadwick Boseman and to the character. These virtue signalers um, feel the need to try to step in and, and correct someone. And I understand where they're coming from because they don't have all of the information. They haven't paid attention to the timeline. It's just some people that are excited about a black thing. Oh, there are black people. I just seen a video today. People were talking about dressing up in full African regalia on November 11th to go see the movie. And I really wish I could take part in that because I did with the 2018 premiere and it's a cultural phenomenon, but I can't see why our culture can't see what's going on. I can't see, and I'm done trying to see, why anti-recasters don't see. Because, I mean, let's take away all the, the Derek Bozeman and the Kevin Feige and the name calling and the backbiting and the hounding each other and trolling each other and, 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 and fucking with each other in a disrespectful way. And let's just kick the facts. All right. Fact. T'Challa, the Black Panther, the cinematic version of T'Challa, the Black Panther, was introduced in the summer of 2016 in Captain America Civil War. That was not a starring role for T'Challa. And might I add, they are relegating a portion of T'Challa's story arc in the movie to a movie that was about a different character. That's where we get a portion of T'Challa's story. Not an entire T'Challa Black Panther story. It's about Captain America in Civil War. And T'Challa's story just so happens to be a part of it. What happens? Okay, T'Challa's father dies. This is canon. Perhaps not in the way that his father died in the movie. That wasn't canon. That was far from canon. And even with the, the story of T'Challa's father retconned in Rise of the Black Panther, he didn't go out like no punk. T'Chaka went out fighting. T'Chaka went out defending the life of his son. That didn't happen in Captain America Civil War. So we got trauma. Black trauma. First thing. Okay. He's got the guy who was responsible for killing his father in his crosshairs. Does he bring him back to Wakanda? to face their justice? No. 
puts him in a jail. Okay, so unrequited vengeance. That's what I'll call it. Because if somebody killed my father and I had him right there in front of me, if somebody killed my mother and I had him right there in front of me, y'all already know. All right, let's go to the Black Panther movie. The event, arguably, um, of the winter of 2018, at least. Well, okay, let's just say February, because there's winter on both ends of 2018, if we're being perfectly technical. Let's just say February of 2018, when the movie drops, what happens in Black Panther? More, I mean, it, not taking anything away from what the movie was. But as we sit and look at it in retrospect, we see all the trauma. We look at all the trauma. Where, where, where do we start with trauma? Trauma starts with T'Challa having to contend for the throne. Not a big deal. Not a problem. And he ascends to the throne. In that movie, he becomes king. He's only been king for one movie. Okay? And in that movie, he is disrespected and humiliated by his own sister. She talks to him with disrespect. I mean, she shows him respect too, but she talks to him with disrespect. That's a Western thing. Okay? That's Western writers, Western producers putting their Western twist on what should be a character who deserves respect, who deserves honor, who deserves to be treated with respect and dignity. We don't see that. The character is killed in that movie. It takes friends and family to bring him back from the brink. Then he has to kill his own cousin, which in comic book canon is not his cousin, but we make him a part of the royal family, which I think is by design. <laughs> but regardless of all of that, back from the dead, Yay! Then what do we do? Um, in Avengers Infinity War, we ash him. We kill him. He's dead for five years. Also, Black Panther Wakanda Forever does not take place during the blip, according to Winston Duke. So, everybody who's talking about, hey, it could take place during the blip, okay? Unless Winston Duke is lying, which... Actors at Marvel have been known to do sometimes. No blip. This is after Infinity War and Endgame. So, here we are at Infinity War. T'Challa died. Now, we flash forward five years. Just came back from being dead. Just came back from being dead. Now, getting ready to die again from a fucking illness the same way T'Challa I mean excuse me the same way Chadwick Boseman passed from an illness okay so we have nothing better to do except make art imitate life when we should be making life imitate art. What do I mean by that? Wakanda is a beautiful place. Wakanda is a place of renewal. Wakanda is a place of power. Wakanda is a place of technology. Instead of taking the depressing ass tropes that black people go through in real life all the time and transferring them onto the screen, 
Why can't we take the beauty, ingenuity, genius, and power that is Wakanda and transfer that to real life? Because beauty, power, and joy in the Black diaspora don't make money. We need to see somebody dying. We need to see somebody getting shot. We need to see somebody getting killed. We need to see some, we need to see black women suffering. We need to see them in trauma. That's what we want. That's what we're celebrating. And there may be some people who are intelligent and slick enough to deceive you into believing it's a tribute and a celebration. Have you ever celebrated a loved one in the way that Marvel Studios claims they're celebrating Chadwick Boseman? He's celebrating his dying friend. I'm celebrating my friend by eliminating all vestiges of the character, and I'm using Im his imagery, his face, him to do it. I just don't see why people don't see. I don't, you know what? I got an idea. Maybe Van Lathan can help us out here. Let's see what Van has to say. We get cancer, we pass away. And it's sad. And we try to tell each other, hey man, watch yourself, do better, whatever, whatever. It's sad. It's a sad fact of the bullshit putrid life sometimes that it is to be black in America. It's a beautiful and we love it, but sometimes we have to deal with things that other people don't have to deal with. For me, T'Challa lives forever. Like he lives forever. Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't die be based upon what happens to us in the real world. T'Challa is here when I was nine. T'Challa was here when I was six. T'Challa is supposed to be here when my kids are nine and when my kids are six. T'Challa is a forever character. And it is not a reminder for me, the character of T'Challa, the Black Panther, who he represents, it's not supposed to be a reminder of how hard things are in the actual world. It's supposed to be a reminder of the genius, the ingenuity, and the perseverance that we could have and will have and to watch the character be killed because of the circumstances that sometimes befall us in the real world, it's too real for me. Mm -hmm. And to yeah. be honest with you, it's not something that other people in this space have had to deal with. Facts. They get to have six Batmans. They get to have three Peter Parkers and yep. put them all in a movie mm -hmm. together. They get to have uh, a different Hulks and a different Superman's and all of this, right? Christopher Reeve, an amazing Superman, he passes away, this is later on in his life, but that's okay because you, it's not okay that he died, but you have uh, Henry Cavill as Superman. You know, you have Adam Welling, you have Tom Welling as Superman. You have Brandon Routh as Superman. Mm -hmm. And the character is, it, itself is, is immortal, but our character isn't. Yeah. Like ours isn't. Our hero isn't immortal. Like he has to die. We have to mourn all of these people in the real world. And then we have to fucking go to the movies and we have to mourn T'Challa too. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I understand it. It's not fucking fair. And I sound like a kid and I get it and I understand. But it's not fucking fair. Okay. That part, that's all we saying. Y'all can go, you anti-recasting ass motherfuckers. Y'all can go and say what you want to say and interpret it. Oh, it's misogyny and all this bullshit. Go ahead and do that. But that's not what it is. And you just heard that man say what it is. Take it how y'all want to take it. That's my time, y'all. I will be coming at y'all with another one of them other ones. And until I do, y'all be good each other.